I've been in China for four years now. I've explored mountains, rivers, deserts, ancient towns, and huge modern cities. But one place that I've never been to is Hainan, the tropical island in the South China Sea. And we're off. We're leaving the dreary, misty, freezing cold Shanghai to go to the beach for Chinese New Year. I want to find out, is there more to Hainan than just beaches and sunny weather? After getting off the plane, I rented a car and I began the two-hour drive to my very first stop. This is Ruye Wan, or in English, Sun Moon Bay. It's a much quieter beach along the east coast and it's popular with surfers and has a really nice, chilled atmosphere. I spent the next two days here relaxing by the beach and eating way too much shao kao. Fully recharged, it was time to head up into the mountains. Today we're in Baoting in Sanya and we're going to go and see the Yanoda Rainforest, one of the biggest in China. Let's go! Yanoda in the local Hainan dialect means one, two, three. Ya no da. And now it's also a way to say hello and welcome. Ya no da. Yanoda Rainforest Park has many different activities for all ages. Helicopter rides, zip lining and even rock climbing. But I wanted to check out the glass bridge overlooking the rainforest. Made in China, no problem. This glass bridge is over 100 meters long and it's about 300 meters down. So yeah, you are pretty high up. You know. Oh, don't like that, don't like that, don't like that. Look at these jokers trying to freak you out. My goodness! Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. The whole way down here. Like I said, I would love to go and do the swing, but you know, they said I'm a little tall and uh, I'm, I'm not, not a chance I'm doing that. That is madness. Just picked up a Yanoda chocolate ice cream. Mm. Very good, actually. So, you know, the Rainforest Park is about 35 kilometers from Sanya and it's about 45 square kilometers in total, which is absolutely giant. It embodies five of the biggest rainforests in Hainan. It's a huge biodiversity, and it's sometimes known as China's diamond rainforest. So that says a lot, it's really nice. And there's a hotel right in the middle of you know, the forest. Here's the pool. What a beautiful little relaxing spot to come and chill at. The fish massage. Oh, how long a... I had a really fun time, really good. So if you're near Sanya, you want to come up to the mountains for a while, definitely recommended. The climate up in Baoting was much cooler than down at the beach, and the hotels were really pleasant. It was really refreshing to jump in the pool during the hot hours of the day, and I even got the chance to drive an ATV around one of the hotels. The thing was crazy fast. After a few days exploring the area, I got back in my car and I was off towards the ocean again. Today we're in Lingshui in Hainan and we're going to go and visit a very interesting place. It's called Danjia Yuchun, a little floating village out on the water. What is this thing? So we're in the market now where they sell all the seafood that they caught. It is massive, look at the size of it. <laughs> So the people who live here are known as the Chinese Sea Gypsies. Most of their life is spent out here on the sea, either fishing or living in this little village. Oh, right, let's go have a look around the little village. So it's actually relatively stable, but it is shaking just a slight bit. You just have to go really careful and yeah. Xiao xin, xiao xin. So obviously in all of these different pools you see the whole way around. There's different sorts of fish in each one. It's really interesting, just looking in each pool and seeing what they have. They're growing some seaweed here, some small fish. Look at the size of those fish. Exciting. What else we got? I think it's very interesting to see the different ways in which people live. And it's definitely not something that I would have expected to see here in Hainan. After the boat ride, we stopped off at the nearby Monkey Island, which is a nature reserve for macaque monkeys. 
In the following days, I went to a Bali themed village and I also find an old movie town. Both really interesting places. And just like that, my two week trip to Hainan was finished. I found out that not only does Hainan have beautiful beaches, soothing nature and deep rooted culture, but I also met some fantastic people there. Ni hao. Hello, hello. Ni hao. <laughs> Hello, ni hao, ni hao. My short stay barely scratched the surface of this beautiful island, and I hope that I can return soon to explore more. I didn't mean bye bye, I meant Yanoda!